match is underway well Jimmy Zero any thoughts on this match you know I'm very excited to see this one as we saw last month Redbeard made his debut in a very big match um, getting in there in the eliminator and now we have him finally for the first time one-on-one -on -one versus Sultan Singh I'm excited to see what this kid can do myself yeah you bet uh, you know I mean we saw that he's uh, he's got some high-flying moves he's got some uh, some athleticism and he's definitely got some serious tenacity. That was obvious in the Eliminator, that yeah. he was really willing to stand his ground, even against much larger opponents like Raph. So I, I like what I'm seeing from this guy. No, definitely. And you know what? It definitely seems, even here tonight, he's got a lot of support from the fans as well, which is always good for someone to come into this business and already have a connection with the fans. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. So, the two wrestlers are just uh, wrestling in the middle of the ring for now. Uh, Sultan's got well, a nice wrist lock on Redbeard. Oh, but Redbeard, nice reversal into one of his own. All right. Sultan manages to get him into a hammer lock. What do we got here? Headlock. What's he going to do? You know, I think Sultan's trying to make this match his own pace, but it doesn't seem to be working that well. Everything that he throws at Redbeard, it seems like Redbeard has something to answer it back. That's for sure. That's for sure. Uh, well, the fans are certainly happy to see Redbeard uh, doing a little bit of damage to Sultan here. Yeah, wanting, wanting Redbeard to rip his arm off, it seems. <laughs> or, I mean, that would be one way to win a match. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. So I, I know uh, that Redbeard's been working on some uh, some fancy moves, so we'll see what we, what we get here tonight. He's been uh, kind of working on his repertoire, doing a lot of practice. We'll see... We'll see how that works out for him. He's still looking for his first win. This is his first singles match, so uh, it'd be nice to see him get a win here. Yeah, no, definitely. I think this could be, you know, one month after his debut, after just two shows, if he could get a big W under his name, I think that would be big for this young man's career. Yeah, no doubt about it. So, Sultan uh, managed to get over to the ropes. The hole's been broken up, so. Looks like they're gonna lock up in the center of the ring. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I think that's a bad idea. I think, you know, Sultan's gotta work on keeping his emotions in check. Yes. He's gotta just keep his eye on the prize, as it were, and just face his opponent, try to get the pin, or the submission, or whatever it is that he wants to do. He can't just go around just pushing, getting angry, letting his emotions run wild like that. Very true, very true. You gotta stay in composure, and uh, especially a veteran like, like Sultan. Oh, big move there. Looks like his head might have bounced off of the ring post, and that's not, it's never good when your head hits that steel. No, nope, that's for sure. Sultan, Sultan's taking advantage of uh, having the upper hand here. Let's see what he's got planned. Oh, he's got him over the ropes, a bit of a choke. Referee yeah. Peters warning him. Oh, almost took the referee down with almost, that one. Almost. Sultan's lucky because the ref could have easily called the DQ on that had he been taken out. Absolutely. 
What's he gonna oh, do here? it looks like he's going for the salt drop, as he calls it. That fist drop of his. Obviously, Salt and Singh and uh, the fans do not have a, the same idea there. You can tell from their chanting. And Redbeard kicks out of that pin attempt by Salt and Salt and so far having kind of the upper hand of this match. We'll see, uh, hopefully, Redbeard can get things turned around. Oh, right there, oh, and there you go. Back. He's fighting back as best as he can. Oh! Nice! Beautiful roundhouse kick. Uh, that was a big end gear right there by Redbeard. And it looks like a sunset, sunset flip. Sunset flip. Could Ooh. not quite hold it. That was close, though. I was good on Redbeard, though. If you saw, he kind of twisted while doing the sunset flip as to not get Sultan in the rope so that that pin could still be counted. Yes. That was a smart, a smart veteran move by the relative newcomer of Redbeard. Yeah. Well, it's nice to see a rookie with some, uh, some ring savvy, as it were. There's the suplex. Yes. Trying for the cover. A young guy like Redbeard, lots of energy. I think yeah, I think he's he's got a little too much in the tank to be covered yet. Oh yeah, I think I think that Sultan thinks that, that that first bonk to the head on the ring post did more damage than it actually did. Redbeard is still going strong. As you can see right here, a good dodge by Redbeard. Yep. Continuing the offense, taking Sultan to the limit. Nice elbow. Fans are showing Redbeard some appreciation. He's lining him up. What's he got? Oh, oh. beautiful. Hurricane Rana. Once again, we saw that in the Eliminator. Redbeard is uh, setting him up in the corner. Oh. Nice clothesline. Looks like he, he's calling out. I think he's calling this walking the plank. Walking the oh. plank. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Nice. And a kick out by the Sultan. That was a very nice uh, variation of, an, of a bit of an STO, bit of a, a Russian leg sweep, kind of a mix of some sort. That was a very interesting move by Redbeard. Yes. He got here. He's got him up, uh, scooping him up for the slam, and oh. down he goes. And going for another quick pin. Sultan Not kicks close. out. You know, we've been saying a lot about the tenacity Redbeard. As much as I'm not a big fan of the Azure Sultan Singh, he does have that tenacity as well. He, he he can take a beating and he can keep on going. So. That's, that's true. Oh, oh. And the captain's hook. That's a big move. Yes, the captain's hook. Is it enough? Oh, Ooh, the leg gets no. on the rope. It's a little too close. A little too close to the rope. So. Five minutes have elapsed. Five minutes have elapsed in this match. Well, that's where as much as you know, Redbeard was showing a little ring savvy, that move there did not work so well for him. No, I think he just saw an opportunity and he went for it. Yeah. Didn't look to where the ropes were or anything like that. Well, Sultan's trying to turn the tide here. Seems like Salt's best friends are those corner turnbuckles, continuing hitting, continually just hitting the head of Redbeard into that. But a nice STO Uranagi. And Sultan vacates the ring, gives himself a chance to, to maybe rest up a little bit. He's got a bit of time while the referee counts. Yeah, you know, some people might say that's cowardly. Honestly, I hate to admit it, I think that's a pretty smart move by Sultan. Definitely. He, he was on the ropes, so to speak, and he knew, get out of the ring, make it so that he has a little bit of time. Oh, oh. nice try, Ed. Oh. Ooh. Redbeard tried to go for that, some sort of suicide dive it looked like, and Salton was still able to take advantage of that, definitely. And a big neck, neck breaker. breaker. And again, you know, like this is where Salton, I mean, I think, he could have maybe got the pin had he went for it there. Uh, and now, you know, I mean, he's given Redbeard a chance to, 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 to and, and naturally Redbeard kicks out. Exactly, I think like, like, like we were saying before, a lot of it is Sultan, his attitude. He thinks that he's the greatest thing that there has ever been. And he doesn't think that he has to take advantage of moments like that. Had, like you said, had he taken the pin, 
from that neck breaker right off the bat. I think he could have won this. Now he's going up the top. This could be a risk that could pay off, but oh. it doesn't look like it. Another big malfunction at the junction. Lights were on, but no one was home. What do we got here? Hurricane oh. DDT. Beautiful move. That's, that's, I'm starting to see that as a signature of Redbeard. And, and he gets the pin. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner via pinfall, Redbeard. So Redbeard gets his first win in a singles match. Really start to uh, look like some, the training has really paid off. Uh, glad to see a young wrestler get his first win. Bill with young MK last uh, last month. Yes, no, I was as well. I think that he had a, a very excellent debut. And you know what? As I said in the ring when announcing, I hope that MK puts Blake Cannon in his place because this man, he is arrogant. He is egotistical. He thinks he's the greatest thing to happen to wrestling since the ring itself. And I just want someone to shut him up finally. I've never been one to shy away from my feelings to Blake Cannon. And I hope that he gets what's coming to him. All right, well, we'll see if young MK can be the one to do it. Certainly the fans have definitely taken uh, to, uh, to this young man. He's got them chanting and uh, making a little bit of fun of uh, Blake Cannon. Yeah, no, definitely. And you know what? I, as you said before, MK had a very impressive showing last month. We saw that he's a very athletic man. Yes. And the thing is, he's athletic. Blake does have that power. I very hate to admit, yes. I always hate to say anything positive about Blake Cannon, but he is a very powerful man. Yeah. He, he is honestly a good wrestler. It's just that attitude that I don't like from him. Yes. Yeah. And I hope that the, this newcomer, Blake, you know, he's, he's becoming a bit of a veteran, honestly. Yes. And I hope yeah. that MK can get past any, any uh, worries about being in the ring, not as long as Blake, yes. um, and actually get some offense in good. But, you know, uh, MK is uh, one of those guys, I've been, I've been going down to the training facility a little more frequently, and he really puts a lot of time in. He's, yes. he's there all the time. Uh, he really wants to get good. I, I think this young man's got some got some desire, and you can see in his wrestling moves, he's technically quite a sound wrestler. Yes. Uh, definitely, he's you know uh, weight wise, size wise, he's uh, he's definitely at the disadvantage that way with with uh, Blake. But I think his uh, his skill and his technical abilities should carry him pretty far. And you know what? I think he does definitely have a speed advantage when it comes to this match as well. Yeah. If he can keep this at his pace, keep Blake kind of off kilter with his own offense, I think he has a good chance of actually pulling off a big win in this match. Yeah, well that would be nice to see. Another, he's another new wrestler looking for his first win. So he's got, got Blake on the mat right now. It looks like he's gonna go after his arm. Fans really want him to, to yes. take care of that arm. Fans, for some reason, are a big fan of dismemberment uh, tonight. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it is, if it's in the water or what it is, but uh, they definitely want to, someone's arm to come off before the end of the night. And you know what? We might see it here tonight. Who knows? You never know what to expect in professional wrestling. That's for sure. That's for sure. Oh, big hit to the turnbuckle. You can see that one coming. Forearm to the chest. Yeah, you know what? I Blake is trying to now keep this on his pace. He's trying to keep control of the match as well as he can. But taking time too much is gonna to lead to stuff like that, you know? Nice chop. You can hear that one sting. Oh, and is he gonna go for another one, it looks like. Looks like, looks like the fans definitely want to see another one. And another one. You can hear that one throughout the building. Is he gonna do another one? Well, maybe not. Oh, oh whips him into the oh, and a reversal. Nice. There's, there's that agility and that speed of MK Singh that we talked about. That's for sure. You know, he 
very, very quick on light and quick on his feet. Yeah. And uh, I think if he can just keep going, he's oh, he's just wanting Blake to walk back in the ring. He he's, doesn't want to take it outside. That's, that's for sure. He's inviting him back in. He's saying, "Come on, back in." Uh, Blake, I think, is you know might be might be doing the right thing by just taking a little stroll on the outside, take advantage of that count. You know, back to what we were saying before. As you said, MK is another new wrestler that we have here in MPW. We've had quite a few new debuts over the last couple of months and I've been impressed with all of them myself. I think between people like MK or previously with Redbeard and you know what? Take away that, that screwy finish of the women's match. Quinn Hawksley is still a very good competitor. Just maybe ran in with the wrong people. Yeah. But all of our new wrestlers, these new people that we've got into MPW, I'm very happy that they are a part of our roster. Absolutely. I, I think it's a good indication that MPW is always looking for new talent and willing to develop these new wrestlers and is able to attract talented young wrestlers. Well, looks like the match is taking place on the outside. Oh, MK blocked uh, Blake's attempt to slam his head into the apron. And he's fighting back, chasing Blake around the ring and turns it around and slams his head into the ring apron. Both men are getting counted right now. I'd hate to see the count out, but a uh, long way to go. Five minutes of the laps in this match. Five minutes. Blake turned it around with a little rake of the eyes, and uh, now what's he going to do? Oh, oh, that's hard on the back. Yes, no, that, that was a big slam into the, the apron there. And it looks like another one oh. as well. You know, if you're a massage therapist watching this, maybe you want to give MK a call after this. He might be a good new client for you. Yeah, I mean, after two big hits like that, hopefully his spine is still in the right shape that it was before this match. And MK manages to kick out. Okay. So one good thing, too, you know, we've got referee James there. He is, he is a veteran ref of MPW. Yes. And... As far as I've ever seen, anytime that he can, he calls it right down the middle. He is always vigilant and makes sure that they're not breaking rules. Yeah. For example, right here, immediately right on starting time. the count. Yes, We're warning Blake right away. Well, can MK turn this around? You know what? I I think you know he might be looking like he's he's on the ropes. He might be looking like he's in trouble. But I think if he can just get that, that last little burst of, of energy, that, that second win, so to speak, that he could turn this around. He just, you bet. He's got to stay on his toes. He's got to, he's got to try to break up this offense by Blake Cannon. That's for sure. It looks like Blake really going after the back here. And another one right to the small of the back. Uh, you know, those, those take their toll. They'll, they, you know, I mean, MK's a young guy. He's in good shape. But you, you take enough of those, and you just won't be getting up so quick. The fans really getting on Blake here tonight. Yeah, I know, and, and you know what? As you were saying, just continually, deliberately attacking that spine of MK. And that's, you know, again, I hate to say something positive about Blake Cannon, but that's a smart move. When yeah. you've done damage to your opponent, any part of your opponent, if you continue on that, whether it be a limb, whether it be oh, yeah. a back, a head, anything, if you've got good damage going, yeah. you stay on it. You keep going. That's for sure. You can just wear someone down to the point where they're not able to kick out. Mm. Well, that was a loud shot by Blake there. Blake's paying back for some of those chops earlier in the match. Is he going to give him another one here? Looks like he might be setting him up for another one. Oh, MK almost daring him, saying, lay it on me, I can take it. You know, you get these young guys sometimes, you know, you, you, you think you're tiring them out, and the truth is, is they kind of like a running back in football. You know, the more carries, the next thing you know, they're, they're, they're actually getting stronger as the, as the match progresses. That's you know, four chops he's taken. That's, that's true, but at the same time, some of these young guys also, I feel, have that, that, that feeling like they need to prove themselves. I was honest, put themselves in, in situations that they shouldn't put themselves in. Yeah, yeah. You know, as you said, MK was daring Blake Cannon to chop him. He got four big chops around that ring. He might have been able to dodge instead of one of those chops instead of just daring Cannon to keep doing it. That's a good point. That could have yeah. switched it up, but he yeah. felt like he had to prove that he could take that damage. That's that's a good point. Hey, yeah, young guy trying to prove he's tough. That's yeah, yeah. That's uh, well, you know, we've all been there. Oh, nice move. Beautiful yeah. move to turn that around. 
You know, he, he, he's holding that back, but he's going in for it. Yep. Oh, Ooh. couldn't pull him off the rope. And that, that his back, you can tell, is really bothering him. That'll oh. take some of his strength away. Blake manages to get him onto the ropes. What's he got here? What's he gonna do? Oh, oh and a slap that's to just the plain face. disrespectful. I, I, this is one of the reasons that I hate talking positive about Blake Cannon. Because I say one positive thing, I say that he's smart for doing something, and then he disrespects not only the wrestler, but the referee. Yeah. As you just saw, he flipped off the referee after yeah. leaving the ring. Yeah. And I just, I don't want to tolerate this type of attitude. But the sad thing is, Blake Cannon is a good wrestler. I agree. Yeah, he's and he's that's the thing with MBW. We want the best wrestlers, not only in Alberta, but in oh. all of Canada. Oh, nice oh. shot. No, good. only a two. Well, that was a good job, though, to, to turn that around. It looked like Blake was getting ready to execute a big slam there. Yeah, you don't want you don't want Blake to be able to do that power game that he does uh, he might quite have well. Him, and a big side slam into a pin. Two, one, oh, just oh. barely. I, I actually thought Blake had him there. That was that was really digging down deep for MK was, to kick yeah. out of that. You know, I, that was I feel like that was almost instinct at that point of MK just going, he can't have both those shoulders on that mat. Yes. And doing whatever he could. I don't even I don't even know how much he has left in the tank, but he's trying his best. He is, he is. He's over by the corner, picking himself up by the ropes. Looks like he's still got a little bit of, you know, he can take it. Ten minutes. Ten minutes has elapsed in this match. Ten minutes. Blake being told to break, break away and finally does at the last second. Oh, really threw him into the corner there. That, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. Uh, the MK's back has got to be sore after that. I, I that that will really take a lot of your power away. That yeah. the, the, your small, you, you, the, your lower back is really where a lot of your strength comes from. Oh yeah, and you know what? As as much as that padding is on there to protect the wrestlers, though that padding is not taking away all of the pain. You still have metal rings underneath yeah. of all of those pads. Yeah. And let me tell you. That hits your back, whether that has padding or not, it's gonna hurt. Yeah, that's for sure. Oh, nice! Well, he really was ready for that. What a nice sunset flip. Sunset flip, oh, could not get the pin oh. out of Oh, big. What's he got here? Oh, is he gonna Come on. He kicks out, all right. You know, I, I've gotta tell you, I'm really starting to get in the corner of this young MK. He's, uh, he's, he's really kind of winning me over. He's showing some real heart, and uh, and I'm, I'm liking this kid. Oh, yeah, no, he's definitely showing the tenacity that we love here in MPW. He, he's not someone who's just going to lay down and give up, you know. He's going to keep going as hard as he can, as much as he can, until he gets those wins. Yes. And you know what? It might not always work out in his favor, but he's going to do his best, and that's all that we ask for here in Monster Pro Wrestling. That's for sure. Hopefully it translates into a oh. win. And a slap from MK. Give it of, back. Oh. oh. Right in the gut. Got him right in the big old bread basket there. And then forearm to the chest. What's oh. he going to do here? Oh. Like he was trying to lift him over. And I, I just don't think that small of his back, that lower back, yeah. would not allow him and, to do so. You know, I think earlier in the match, he maybe could have had the strength to do it. But having taken so many blows to the back, the strength just isn't there. Oh. Wow. What a Mindbuster! Now I think can, he, can either of them get up here? It's hard to tell who got the worst of that. The fans really cheering for MK to get on his oh, feet. He's on his feet. He is up. What, what can he do here? Oh, he's getting the fans. Fans are getting re getting ready for this. What's he got? Okay, oh. just a big clothesline chop. Another big elbow. Oh. Setting him up for something big! Another Ooh. elbow talk knocks him down. Coming off the rope. And a frog splash off the rope. He's got the leg, but can't quite keep the pin. Can't quite keep it. 
No, you know, he's taking the brunt of the damage in this match. I don't think that just something as simple as that frog splash is going to take Blake Cannon out, I'm sorry to say. Blake's had control of this match almost the entire time. Yep. He's got so much less damage done to him than MK has. Oh! MK Ultra? Oh, no! Got reversed on him! That was a very nice backslide by Blake Cannon, I'm sorry to say. Yes. But a nice and reversal there by MK for the roll up. And could not hold it. Oh, elbow coming across. I was curious to see that MK Ultra. It sounded like MK really wanted to show, showcase that move. Uh, we'll see. Maybe he'll get a chance to execute it again. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, it looks oh like this gonna, could be it. This could be going for the Grand Cannon Bomb. Oh, MK managed to a kick out of that. What's he got here? Oh, good job. Because that could have oh. been over. And he went for that MK no. Ultra again. Oh, oh. no. Referee, referee James. Oh. Referee James down. Oh, this could be bad for MK now. What do we got here? Oh. Nice. That was a big kick by oh. MK. What's and he got? MK Ultra. Yes, there it is. MK Third time's Ultra. the charm, as He's they going say. For the, pin, but the thing is, referee James is down. Referee James is down. You can hear him. the fans counting for James, but unfortunately, it does not count when the no. fans are counting. It has to be counted by the ref. Oh my god. It's like MK is trying to help rouse James back up. I think it's it seems like it's working. He's getting yeah, him up, but, but oh, he really got squished. Oh, a low blow, blow by Blake Cannon. What a disrespectful move with that. James is slowly getting to his feet. What's going on here? What's what's Blake gonna do? This this is a travesty, real travesty. What's he got? Oh, oh there we have it. That's, that's the Grand Cannon Bomb. Grand Cannon Bomb. There we wow. have it. Wow. Well, oh, ladies and gentlemen, your winner via pitfall. Wait.